Okay, this is like uh, day eight or nine, somewhere in there, and I have seen a remarkable change in the amount of moisture that's coming out of this area right here. Uh, just a few days ago, all this area here, every one of those little pockets was full of water. And uh, now they're all dried up, <coughs> and the ground's starting to dry up. And uh, it, uh, the sodium bentonite appears to have uh, definitely made a difference in this pond bank and the amount of water going through that. So uh, I'm feeling real good about this. Uh, give you a little history about the pond. Uh, it was built in about 1998, somewhere in there. My brother built it. And uh, he uh, done a wonderful job, and uh, we've uh, we've really enjoyed this pond. And uh, the reeds that's starting to grow up around it, uh, they just really started in the last five years, and they've just about taken over on it. And I believe what we're going to try to do whenever we go into a drought, either this year, this next year, or uh, the year after, some period of time when we go into a drought, I think I'm going to get a, I'm going to try to pull them reeds out mechanically with a uh, track hoe or back hoe or something, and uh, maybe a dump truck and or maybe a dump trailer. And uh, I haven't decided yet exactly how we're going to do that, but uh, we'll figure that out whenever the pond starts getting lower and uh, uh, gets to be the time to do that. But uh, I, am, uh, I am really impressed with this. It seems to have done a good job. I believe my $80 was well worth it. Uh, sodium bentonite does plug up the leaks. There's no doubt about that. So uh, I would definitely encourage if you're having an issue like this, especially a temporary one where the pond has just been maxed out all spring, summer, and fall, and now it appears that uh, we're continually, uh, we got a chance of rain tonight, so I wanted to make this picture today so uh, because tomorrow it could be wet again and you wouldn't even be able to tell it if it had dried out any or not. But. Uh, I believe the pond is going to stay full throughout the winter and then I'm sure it'll stay full through spring so it'll be next summer probably before it starts to go down any so so we got another six or eight months of uh, a full pond and so uh, but I am definitely uh, uh, feel good about all this so you know, it's a wonderful deal I'm going to give you another look at this. This is uh, in the pond. It's a nice clear pond. So, And you can see that white bentonite down in there. And uh, I really put it on thick. You know, I was using them bags of stuff just pouring it in there. So you can tell that. And it goes out there quite a ways. Probably 8, 10 foot out there. So I feel pretty good. that. Uh, and normally this pond, when it's leaking... It's when the pond is up, uh, you know, getting about the four or five feet before flood, before overflow stage, so, which would make it, take it out eight or ten foot, that's about where it starts, when it, when it starts leaking. So, uh, and I don't know if it's due to gopher holes or what, you know, if it's, uh, just, I just don't know why. So, uh, but anyway, it, uh, it definitely made a difference on the back side of that pond and uh, I feel real good about it and here we got some uh, little coots out there if you can see them and uh, so uh, it's a very and then over there we got some uh, Canadians they're all out there in the water and uh, they all just love this pond including us, we love it too. So, uh, but all these reeds, like I was, what I was telling you about, uh, looks like uh, I've got my job cut out for us. So, uh, 
next year or the year after whenever this pond decides to go down six six foot or so uh, we'll get out there with some kind of mechanical stuff I've got a skid loader but uh, I think it's going to require a track hoe or a back hoe or something to get out there and really dig that stuff up and maybe get a dump truck or a dump uh, a dump trailer and uh, just do it at my my spare time whenever I can get around to it get to digging that stuff out but uh, this pond it's uh, it's about 22 years old 21 22 years old so uh, you know it's going through a cycle and uh, it uh, we've kept it pretty well cleaned out of trees grubs and stuff like that on the bank side here uh, the back side of it we got willows and stuff but uh, it, uh, it don't you know that's uh, it's not a bank over there that's going to lose water or anything over there over this is the side that's got the, the dam on it so uh, we try to keep it clear of uh, uh, any kind of tree roots or anything like that so but anyway we are thoroughly pleased with the uh, sodium bentonite that we put in here I, I think it's done the trick now here's a picture of the back side of the dam I don't know if we have a little bit of a breeze today so it might make it pretty tough on the microphone but uh, as I was telling you we're pretty uh, the pond base is a broad base, so uh, it was uh, well built. It's just uh, we've got that one leak over there on that uh, one side over there, just around the corner there. So uh, I think that uh, if we get that fixed, that's the only bad spot we got on the, on the pond dam. So, uh, but uh, so here's another view of the pond and just to show you just uh, how the uh, how close the water is to the top of it and uh, it's uh, as you can see it's about a foot and a half two foot maybe two and a half feet uh, from the top but it's right at the overflow stage so uh, whenever water goes into this pond it will uh, it will go out to overflow because it's right right there at it hi there uh, just to recap on what we uh, what I've done on this video with this pond dam and with the sodium bentonite uh, first thing is uh, you know when I was we we had six bags of sodium bentonite we took it and uh, I just loosely spread it around out there I got out on a boat and and kind of slung a bag around uh, you know if I if I took a little more care I would have probably got a little better uh, distribution if I would have maybe uh, you know took my time about doing it and maybe uh, taking a, a container or something and a smaller container and, and uh, spread it around with it rather than just dumping it out of the bag and I would have probably got a little more uh, area over it and it had been a little more even out there uh, other than that uh, I think what we did was good and it uh, definitely improved that uh, uh, slowed down that leak and improved that pond dam that sodium bentonite uh, seemed to have done the trick uh, I don't know how long it'll last I'll keep an eye on it and uh, through the winter and spring and uh, if, uh, if for some reason it starts leaking again or I will uh, I'll relay it on to you uh, what I'm going to try to do uh, is make a plan on repairing that pond dam whenever the pond goes down so uh, uh, hopefully next uh, late summer or something the pond goes down three or four feet five feet and I might pump some of that water out of there and uh, get it on down there to where I can work that bank a little bit and I'm gonna like I said earlier I'm gonna take a uh, take those cattails those reeds out of there and uh, mechanically I'm, I'm gonna take a track hoe or back hoe and, and get that stuff all cleaned up all the banks cleaned around that bank and then uh, I might get a bulldozer in there and we might put a layer of clay 
you know, a liner in there. And I might take some of that sodium bentonite, uh, get a ton or so of it, and uh, just spread it along that bank where, you know, where the possible leaks might be to give it another layer of protection there. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, that, that pond will last, you know, another uh, 20, 30 years. So, uh, but uh, I think it's in time for a little repair there. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna uh, tentatively schedule uh, whenever that pond can get down, that's what we're gonna do. And I will make a video and uh, relay it on to you. I appreciate uh, the time you've taken to watch it and uh, stay tuned.